Hey guys, what's going on? Sue Crafted is here and welcome back to season two of Sue Crafted Interviews YouTubers podcast. I have with me the one, the only, Kana Crew. Woo! It's actually an experienced studios now, but you've known me for so long. We're going to let that one fly today. To, to me, you will always be <laughs> Kana Crew. Always. Number one, bringing back season two with a fresh start and a beautiful voiced man. Uh, are you hosting this on me? You know what? I've hosted enough of things in my life. Uh, I'm going to let you take the reins on this one, since it is your show. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a little difficult sitting in the passenger seat for once, but we're going to give I mean, it the old college try. Yeah, well, you know, but it, as if you've seen my first season, people will know that it's very laid-back, relaxed in, uh, interview. Yeah, uh, I, it's, it's like a job interview where I'm going to be asking very difficult questions. And... It's kind of who's going to enjoy this because it's all about him, and that, <laughs> that, 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 that's his favorite subject. Is that what we're going off of? Yeah. I, hi guys, I'm all about myself, 100. percent If you yeah. try to bring up any topic that's not about me, I will stop that, bring it full looped back around to me because yeah. I'm selfish. That's what Zoo's trying to say. Yeah, but, but I mean, you've actually managed to make me talking about you, about you still by taking over. So that's just a good example. That's. <laughs> it's all planned. It's that's yeah. That's it's, the way it's supposed it's to be. It's gone full circle, right? So, I've got a few questions here. Well, not even the many subjects. And the first thing I'm going to ask you, which I ask everybody, first question, season one asked, was how did you, Kanaku, get into Minecraft? How did I get into Minecraft? Do you only interview Minecraft YouTubers? Yeah, basically. Okay. Well, I guess that's a fair question. Um. All right. Let's see here. Uh, sheltered home life when I was little. Uh, mm -hmm. career. Okay, I'm all caught up. I'm ready to talk. Mm -hmm. So, of course, being, I don't know, kind of an outcast, <laughs> if you will. Uh, I thought your answer I... was going to be, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. No, no, no. I had a, kind of a sheltered life, and I picked up video games very young. Uh, playing alongside my dad with an unplugged PlayStation 1 controller was <laughs> how I kind of got my start. And then... I was kind of kept to myself, so creativity kind of just came to me, and I would just kind of do my own stuff. I was a self-entertained child. Mm -hmm. uh, fast forward to whenever Minecraft first came out, when they added zombies. I think that's like beta something, whatever. Yeah. Who cares anymore? After Cave Game, before it was cool, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm playing this game on a computer, and what I did is I downloaded some Minecraft launcher jailbroken if you will off of some chinese site i was playing it on my dad's computer until my dad's computer finally broke sorry dad that was most likely my fault from downloading yeah. all sorts of weird stuff i mean uh, not, not, but... not just minecraft there's all the other stuff you downloaded as well but we'll not go into that <laughs> we're not gonna get no you asked me minecraft question I'm yeah, gonna yeah, answer minecraft. yeah no you're right you're right um, the leg was unbelievable. I'd take three steps, and that three steps would take probably a minute. But mm -hmm. I loved it. I loved the creativity it gave me. So uh, I, that's how I got into Minecraft. How I became a Minecraft YouTuber, so to speak, mm -hmm. was pretty much the same age I'm getting an iPod Touch. And I, it's when YouTube had that old, the old, like, 60s TV logo. Yes, yes, before, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I A lot of that. people don't remember that. Um, that, that was, like, the YouTube on iPod, on, a, on an iPod Touch, I I can remember that. I was like fourteen, and I remember like, oh, it's YouTube. Like it's like the old. I got no, no yeah. recollection of my age at the time because I'm terrible with timelines. But I was watching stop motion Star Wars Lego content, yeah. and then uh, a little bit of Minecraft footage, and I'm like, oh, I play this game. Wow, you can actually do a lot if you use your imagination to what the blocks could be. Yeah, and uh, started messing with that, building a little bit more. Uh, started a channel called Canid Crew. Oh boy, um, and that, and that, yeah, yeah, and that's a uh, to me that, that's that's kind of how you. it started. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then I and then I met this uh, I met this prick Zoo Crafted yeah. along the way. I don't even know. I don't even remember how we met. I to be completely honest, I, I think and I'm, I'm like skipping ahead like four topics here, but we're just gonna go to it now because it's come up naturally. I think, and I might be wrong. <laughs> we, we met on Weeby. Am I Did right? Did we meet on Weeby? I think we might have. We might have followed each other before on Twitter, maybe. But I think we didn't actually speak oh, properly boy. until Weeby. Uh, it's, it's all foreign to me. I think I knew... I think we knew who each other 
was. Yeah, I, I, I think we followed you on Twitter. In Twitter, but like oh, it wasn't until right. we beat that we actually like, saw like actually <laughs> talking because you were a pirate, and most people could be thinking, "What on earth is we beat?" Yes. Yes, I was a. I did the pirate skin. Yeah, so we. Be- I had already been making footage for a little bit, and I was switching it up a little bit to get myself more known through Weeby SMP. You're bringing me back, man. Weeby oh SMP. Uh, it was hosted by Wattles. Was it Wattles? Yo, Wattles. Wattles. <laughs> um, and he had, well, he had this idea of making an SMP that was completely 100% family friendly. Like, I I didn't like, know that really, going in. To really be family friendly, like overbearingly family friendly not that there's anything wrong with us but it, it became very very a bit strict much? <laughs> it was very strict but we still had fun it was still a really fun server and, and happy was there uh, as well that uh, we both know happy and happy was on bb um, and that's, that's right what, that's yeah. where we met happy um who obviously i've already interviewed once on this uh, on, on the first season um, nice plug who, who else was nice on name yeah the bad name can you hear that that's me dropping Happy's name. There you go. Yeah, that was it, really loud, by the way. Yeah, Audio well, listeners, warning: but, five seconds back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, before me, Happy did have a thousand subscribers, and I was on six thousand. I think we all know that's that's because of me. You know, just saying. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't think you can say that, but we're gonna say it because we're no longer family friendly. That's uh, that's kind of true. Sure. Let's be honest. Maybe fifty back. people in the most might listen to this. I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, Happy might be one of those, and he's really <laughs> salty right now. Hi, Happy! I mean, at least... Um, I was, was going to make a joke about you, you not winning on the quiz live there, but, you know... No, we're not going to bring that one No, up. no. Right. So, moving on from Weeby, which was... To be fair, it was a half-decent SMP where we met some good people, so I've got no bad memories about that SMP whatsoever. Weeby SMP was like wearing a clown costume to an all kids birthday party and told <laughs> not to do anything but make balloon animals while the kids just kicked the shit out of you. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about Weeby. <laughs> it was fun. It just yeah, you couldn't was, do anything. Otherwise strange. you'd get a Discord call at like twelve at night from Waddles going, Hey man, um yeah, we're gonna need you to take that video down or at least censor all of it. I'm like, really? Like I was uh, never told that it was fam like super fra- family friendly. I mean, I was told don't. I was told do not swear. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know but, knifing somebody was gonna bring up controversy. I'll, I'll be honest. So. I've, I've never discussed this, but I once got in trouble for saying the word poop. Nice man. Because they said humor. It, they, they said it was like swearing. I was like, well, is it? And I was like, oh, <laughs> moving, moving on past Weeby. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> what else you got from you? Me mentioned too? before about you watch, watching Minecraft YouTubers when you got your your iPod. Which Minecraft YouTubers were you watching? Oh God! Like who? See, who, this was before I knew you could subscribe to people and keep watching their content. So it was a little bit of like the earliest of Minecraft YouTubers. The first YouTuber that really stuck for me mm-hmm. was probably the one and the only B double O one hundred. Oh really? Yeah, I think he was, I was doing Minecraft content, and he's the one who showed me that you could be a Minecraft builder and make mm-hmm. content that way, and that was still realistic. You could make that work on YouTube, so it's like, oh man, I really want to be creative, I want to build, like, hell yeah, I'm going to do what B-double-O does, and then I didn't yeah. realize he did it full time, so I'm yeah, like, after that... school, after yeah. college, <laughs> after nine to five job... Yeah. trying to do what he's doing and i'm like running myself exhausted not understanding that people can make a full-time living and once that clicked i was like all right i'm gonna bust my ass to make sure that this happens for me so that's, that's the thing now i'm here <laughs> even, even beat him below when he first started he was working nine to five i assume before he made it yeah he was an architect he's, i think we, yeah well that doesn't surprise me because he's so good at building i mean he's still i, I don't think there's many people who don't know who beat him below is anyway um, so I don't think I'd explain how good of a builder he is. It was uh, good. I mean, other so, Minecraft what, YouTubers so, at the time I watched were, I think, The Crew. I think they called themselves The Crew. I don't know uh, the crew. Oh, man. KYR Speedy. Yeah. Uh, they, he had a group that would just scream into the mic. And actually, hmm. it was quite cringy. But I watched, I like, before I went to school, I had to ride the bus every day. Because, like I said, sheltered child's like... I was uh, I mean, not I was, very wealthy. The 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 sheltered child usually gets a like a lift from their parents to work. 
you know, re- really <laughs> yeah. sheltered. I mean, really sheltered, don't even go to school, they get homeschooled. Oh, no, no, no. I was sent straight to public school. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> like, I, got so- a, I got an Americanized Wisconsin public school system I mean, deep down inside me somewhere. The minute your parents found out, they were like, get rid of them for eight hours a day. Yeah, I don't, no, I'm not bothered. <laughs> don't, put, put them on that bus. S- send them away. So Mama needs her wine time. Child's yeah. got to go to school. Right, there you go. Yeah. So would you say that B W O was the one who inspired you to start making videos, or do you think you didn't even have? Do you think you were more of your, your own inspiration? Oh, um, I would say that B W O crafted. You see what I did there? Mm-hmm. He crafted my knowledge to be a Minecraft builder, mm-hmm. more or less. But I mean, I was already making content before I started yeah. watching him religiously, and. Uh, I think maybe, yeah, a little bit of my own inspiration. Not to be that, <laughs> <That's> you know, <laughs> <laughs> that guy, but uh, I self-taught everything I knew yeah, what I you was know. doing before I was doing it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but when you saw that you were, as I call you, kind of crew, and now you're in Experience Studios. It sounds so much better, but yet try to get big with the name Inexperience Studios. Try spelling it. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I first spelled an experience, I was like, right, I know how to spell experienced, I'm sure I do. And then put, put an in before it, and I'm pretty sure I can, I can figure this out. <laughs> but like, well, so yeah, all I'm going to say is, what, what's the crap? <laughs> Why go from kind of crew to inexperienced studios? Um, well, to get kind of personal, and uh, it's kind of a sad story. Um, Koenig is my last name, so mm-hmm. there's that. And, uh, crew was because uh, I played with a couple of my cousins on PlayStation 3 when that started becoming a big thing mm-hmm. and we called ourselves the Koenig crew and I went oh that's an awesome name hmm. because here in Wisconsin we were rooting for the Brewers and they used to call themselves the Brew Crew mm-hmm. I was like that's a kick ass name <laughs> I'm going to make myself Koenig crew and it stuck I made the YouTube channel uploaded two videos and went Oh, what am I doing? That's not a good name. No, and... I think I mean it's original. You can't say that. I mean, for me, the number one problem with it was was knowing how to say it. When it, when I read it, I'm like Koenig, Koenig. Yeah, yep. I'm like that is a nonstop how people pronounce my name. It's super German. To be honest, the spelling doesn't even make sense to me. But yeah, yeah. the great old Koenigs, which meant like peasant king or yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Peasant Some king. peasants overthrew a king, killed him, and was like, you're not going to tell us what to do anymore, and okay. called themselves the Koenigs. So, I mean... That's a little history lesson yeah, for you. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, <laughs> we're learning a lot here about you as a person, um, <laughs> on what you do in your spare time, clearly. Yeah, but inexperienced students, following my ancestors. But, if I remember right, don't I wrong, inexperienced wasn't just going to be about you, though. Wasn't a day to have other people... On Experience Studios, or am I thinking wrong or no? You're you're thinking along the right path. I mean, I knew that I was going to be doing this solo for quite some time. Um, as you know, C W C J W Gaming. Yeah. Wow, that's a that's a mouthful right there. Yeah. Um, he I am related to him. He literally is like my cousin. Um. Yeah. Well, we, I've played with you and C J a few times, like when we did that Skyblock thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it was originally meant to be set up eventually as literally like a studio. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's kind of my end goal here is that if I can make it on my own, mm-hmm. bringing more people in to do content and strictly content that people want uh, was the end game for Inexperienced Studios mm-hmm. because I wanted people to know what they were getting before they clicked on the video. So Inexperienced means you're going to get a bunch of guys just having fun Mm-hmm. who don't quite know how to edit. Well, yeah. fast forward a little bit. I'm actually getting pretty good at editing, not to brag. Yeah, d- d- and, definitely. And uh, yeah. I don't have much of a crew. So <laughs> So, really, your experienced solo. Pretty much. Yeah, that's a I'm going to take that as soon as this one's but, done. But, you know, it's good of goals. So <laughs> if if you if you have like say right, let's say 5 years time, I want to have this many subs. I want to have two other creators who I trust can make good content on my channel, you know, there's nothing wrong with setting up high hopes for your channel. You know, I don't, I, I, hopes, I, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that anyway. Other people might say, hey, we're living a pipe dream. But I think... Well, every, that's all you got to do. Well, every pipe single dream person or not, is, it's still is a successful dream. had to have a pipe dream. 
I mean, I love the Yogscast with with a passion. I still watch their videos all the time. Jimmy the Yogscast to me will always be my favorite YouTubers. But when they first started out, Absolutely. they were just like you, you and me. They were just well, actually, they had much worse quality mics. They had no idea what they were doing. <laughs> their, their editing was appalling. Well, then and then they just became this huge massive thing. And I, I, you know, why not? Yeah, I feel like technology has grown so far past then that you almost have to be. You almost have to have a good mic, and you almost have to be good at editing, even to yeah. get noticed nowadays. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just oversaturation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I would think so. When you say oversaturation, with that main thing, like you're saying there, is you have to be original. You have to think of like what's no one else done, and I think you've done that pretty well with your main series now, versus on your channel. And probably your most successful series is for twenty minutes, then we fight. Yeah, twenty minutes, and then we fight. That is my. That's my little baby girl, you know. That's like um, your most successful I don't share, thing. <laughs> I don't share. I don't share her too often. Uh, Twenty minutes, and then we fight. Was oh god, we literally CJ and I were bored one night, and I'm just like, all right, let's just see, let's just constantly kill each other for fun. And mm -hmm. I recorded it. That recording is long gone. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, well, hang on. I'm like, if we're constantly killing each other, we were spawn killing each other over and over. I'm like, give me twenty minutes. Give me 20 minutes, and then uh, then I'll come at you, and you can take 20 minutes as well to keep gearing yourself up. Mm -hmm. Because, at, I mean, at the time, I was way better at than him at the time at Minecraft. So I worded that funny, but oh well, we're going to move past that. Nobody realized that. Um, so 20 minutes, and then we fight kind of came from a late night session with him, where mm -hmm. we literally got 20 minutes to gather resources and fight. And at the end of it, I won. Mm -hmm. And I put myself in F5, like, cheering to the crowd, and I'm like, holy crap, I'm like, this could make a really good concept for a video. Yeah. Why, why don't we do 20 minutes, then we fight, and keep it kind of going? And now it's kind of grown to where I'm going to start, a lot like this podcast, having other Minecraft YouTubers uh, face me in this Minecraft minigame. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know why I'm putting your head here, but I do know, without revealing who, that I've had other YouTubers do it with you, that they're coming out in the well, future. I won't say who because I don't want to publish yet. So, I mean, were you as surprised as everyone else when you saw how many views those videos were getting? Oh, God, yeah. Because they did yeah, really gotta, well. Uh, They're still all doing really well. There, Yeah. All the, uh, anytime I show my face on camera and anytime I do a 20 minutes, then we fight, those seem to do really well. It's the yeah. Let's Plays that haven't been doing all that well. Yeah. So, I mean, I literally just made a video, not to self-plug here, but it's literally Where Have You Been? Yeah. Um, Which I, I, watched I don't want to jump ahead and con and maybe get some of your questions out of the way, mm -hmm. but I'm losing more and more time to do what I love here, so I want to make sure what I do release is good and you guys actually watch it all the way through and enjoy it. So I'm really only picking my top three series and focusing on those right now while yeah. uh, life kind of just keeps spinning in front of me. So I mean, uh, before this, I, I, when I go through time, I had like, like a, an actual deep, thorough look through your channel. And some of my videos from, like, let's say Terraria, I don't know, but they, they got, like, two to four views. Then the video, <laughs> like, weeks later, had, like, hundreds of views because it wasn't Terraria. Like, it's like like a Let's Play of, like, Terraria or Minecraft. Like, they say Let's Plays. They just don't do well anymore because there's just so many of them. You, 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 you've got... Unless you're, like, a hermit crafter, then you haven't really got a chance to gain views with, with Let's Plays now. So That's very true. So, like I say, like, 20 minutes and we fight... Stuff like that. It's the original ideas now. They're the only chance you've got of like getting views now, because it's all been done That's before. That's true. The Let's Play series is kind of, and anybody can hit record. I hate saying this so much, but yeah. anybody can hit record and film a Let's Play and post it to YouTube. It's yeah. not hard, and if it's unedited, it's. That's the easiest YouTube content you can possibly make for yourself. It's great for starting out. It's great for getting camera work done and realizing who you are behind a camera and getting all that yeah. intro stuff out of the way. But you're not gonna see numbers unless you uh, you spice it up a little bit. Yeah, you you gotta be different. Like, uh, like that's what I, I think. Uh, I, as a general rule of thumb, I always said if you want to build community, you do fun videos. If you want to gain views and subscribers, you do tutorials. That's that's why I think the most successful channels do both because you get a little bit of both in there. Yeah, yeah, I tried doing that a little bit. Tutorials uh, actually kind of wore me out. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's I know. So much I know more about. I know more about the game than most people. I feel just from doing tutorials for a little bit. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I gotta stop this. 
I'm getting well, worn down. Well, it's like my most viewed videos are tutorials, all of them, because yep. that people actively look for them. So like, if oh, it's absolutely. Like, sometimes they put like loads of effort into a really good episode or something, and there's next to no views. But you just have this idea for a machine they put like five minutes into, and I get thousands of views, and it, it just doesn't <laughs> feel right sometimes. That's the beautiful algorithm that uh, YouTube has. Yeah. So you either get on board or you get kicked to the curb and you sit there and cry until <laughs> somebody else who has a little bit more subscribers than you picks you back up. Because that's how this works, baby. Well, speaking of us, that kind of brings us to the, my next topic, which was Outcast SMP. Of course it does. Outcast SMP! Yes! Yeah. They- I knew it was coming. I Is mean, that, obviously. You know, you know what's ironic? I've just, I've just laid it off Let's Plays and like SMP, so like the last five minutes, and now I'm about to talk about the one I, that, that we're both in that you've made. So yeah. So I've kind of shot um, myself in the foot here. <laughs> Do you want a little bit of a rundown of what that is for the audience that might not know what the Outcast SMP is? 100%. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, picture this. Shut your eyes and dream a little cloud. Let's say you've joined countless SMPs. You've joined countless friends on their Minecraft realm, but all they do is they surround you. They kill you. You try to make content, but then you get told by a higher up that that's not the content that they want on their server. <laughs> this has all happened to us plenty of times. Not naming a lot of uh, SMPs who have done this to me personally, oh, God. but you kind of view yourself as an outcast. Well, outcast SMP is the place for you. We have no rules other than please do not break my beautiful baby server with overpowered farms. That's all we ask. But really, it's it's a place where small content creators can come together and make the content that they want to make. As an outcast, it's easy to get yourself off the trail of groups and kind of yeah. become a loner. Well, this is the place where all loners can come together and just make excellent content. You don't have to technically be a content creator. But you'll go under a helper settings and stuff like that, and we do ask that you show us a little bit of what you've done. Mm-hmm. But all in all, it's just it's this beautiful SMP that I came up with with uh, the help of my friend Echo, mm-hmm. and uh, he now runs the modded server. I run the vanilla server, yeah. and the vanilla server for me is just where I get to stretch my legs and to do my little bit of storytelling. Which honestly, if you are under the age of twelve, maybe don't watch that. But <laughs> yeah, you know what. Mommy gave you the iPad, so you can do whatever you want. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think the Outcast SMP, like, what you do especially, and a few of those, like, I tried a little bit in Season 1, but for me, time was the main factor. I, I couldn't really do enough. I, I think I got, I got, like, eight episodes out before the yeah. Season 1 finished, so that was unfortunate. Um, so the thing with all of us is we all have jobs. We all have to yeah, make a living us. somehow. So it, time I is mean, kind of a hit or miss, but... but we were in very similar situations, though. Great. We were in very yeah, similar oh, situations. Yeah, absolutely. Because we both work full-time. We both got engaged roughly around the same time. So time just... It was just bad timing, unfortunately. And, and that's why Season 2 comes out yeah. when Caves and Cliffs Part 2 comes out in December. And that's where you get to see some beautiful content creators come back together yeah. and uh, try the brand new Cave and Cliffs update. I mean, Which we'll, is going to be amazing. We have some great content creators on that, like Dark and Cold by Four, amazing content creator. Really, really <laughs> nice guy. I, I, I cannot Extremely fault him. Extremely nice guy. Oh my god, I love myself some Dark. Honestly, if I wasn't engaged to the person I'm engaged to, man, yeah. I might be flying down to where he resides and, you know, cuddling up with a little bit of Dark. <laughs> it's just like... He's I gonna love know. that I said that. He probably will, yeah, because he's just so friendly. Like, he, he, he would... He could message all, all can say, right... I need to place a thousand buttons. I need your help. And he'd be like, right, give me 500. <laughs> but that, that's how I feel about him. He wouldn't say, oh no, that's boring. I don't want to do that. He'd be like, okay, give us 600 actually. I'll do, I'll do more than you. Yeah, you know? he'll give. He'll be like, how much time do you need? And I'll be like, I don't know, man. I'm trying to get this video out in a week. He goes, a week? Okay, I thought you were going to say a day. Yeah, man, yeah. that's already done. Dark is our little redstone genius on the server. And yeah. uh, honestly, finding him out of hundreds of small content creators was just amazing and i am very thankful to have dark on our server he is now a moderator as well so yeah. you guys will see plenty of dark and cold on probably both of our channels once the outcast smp starts back up for season two definitely i mean there are other members i mean there's other members who i haven't even spoke to yet um uh, probably yeah. 
because I, I think we're all just kind of waiting for December to come. And we're like, right, this is, I mean, and I'm, am I right in thinking? Because obviously I'm not stuff on the server, I'm just a player. So, am I right in there could be more people joining? For our, like, what's a rough figure in your head of people you want playing on the server when it comes out? Um, when it comes out, we have done a little bit of recruiting. We have some amazing content creators coming to uh, join us. I would mm-hmm. say there's probably about 10 of us now. I think 10's a good round number. We're making content. Yeah. I would say there's probably 15 of us all together. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, the problem is with some SMPs is they die off after like a few weeks because when SMP first starts, it's really exciting and fun. Then people are like, oh, no, I'm getting a bit bored now. So it's really important to get people who you know for a fact aren't going to like drift off and like, move on to other things. Um, and I'm pretty confident with the people that we have, or the ones that I know anyway, but that's not going to happen. They're going to stay active uh, and for a fact. Absolutely. I mean, the Outcast SMP was set up for Outcasts. Like, if you are already done with SMPs and groups and you are already ready to make solo content just to get your voice out there and stuff like that, yeah. this is the perfect place for you because you can still do your solo work. But there's awesome stuff happening in the background. And if you want, there's people who feel the exact same way you do making content and collaborations with two people that have just had it with the outside world are yeah. is honestly the best content, at least for me. And... Yeah, I'm super proud of it. I mean, there's no, yeah, you should be. I mean, it, it's it's just I mean, making your own SMP. Obviously, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do, but actually making a successful one. That's where it comes. And you know, I think the C's first season there was some pretty good builds. There was pretty pretty good storytelling, uh, and that's just by me. Uh, <laughs> but no, I think season two is gonna be great, especially with who we have. Um, so I've got two things left on this. The first one being Twitter. Now, obviously, you've been Twitter for. Did you make your Twitter before or after you started YouTube? Um. Oh God. Okay. I guess, like I said before, my timeline's not always that great. <laughs> but uh, I have a Twitter mm-hmm. that was set up under the name Canid Crew. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how I'm going to log into that anymore. Uh, I pretty much just use my Inexperienced Studios um, Twitter, now. Twitter, which is at Inexperienced S2 for all of those listening. Mm-hmm. You knew I was going to do it. You oh, brought oh, up Twitter. Oh, all six of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would say I probably set this Twitter up after I made the YouTube channel. So, uh, Do you think that Twitter... Is helping you at all in your YouTube, or do you find it more fun, or it use it as a tool? Um, I think Twitter can be a good place to advertise to people who you've already established on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So if you already have a following and you tell them to follow you on Twitter, it's just nice for them to get a second voice. Yeah. So like, if I'm at work, I can tweet a photo out, and I can tweet something out, and I can reply back to people. It's kind of a nice place to just engage with your community. Yeah. But as getting new members, I don't. Uh, it's difficult. I don't really think it's the greatest place. No, I think Twitter is great for being in a community, but getting to know new people is it's it's very difficult because it's like we said before, it's just oversaturation. Um, Pretty much, but I, I love Twitter as as you know because I'm on it all day every day. But Zeus on Twitter more than I think he's on anything else. I think uh, Zeus yeah. sits on his phone more than he works sometimes. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, t- <laughs> to me, t- Twitter is like drugs to me. I just scroll. Oh, no, it was obviously a joke. Zeus is the hardest working person you will ever meet. Uh, that was a slow jab at him, and you just fully took it. Like, no, yeah, okay. I mean. <laughs> You know, <laughs> for someone who works full time, I'm on Twitter a lot. To, I'll be honest. Okay. You know? Well, yeah, we'll give you but that one. I look like, but like to me, Twitter is good because I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think only tweeting about your YouTube channel is a terrible way to run Twitter. It needs to be personal. Um, I know that you do that, but I mean, it's also a powerful tool. Like, I think most of my subscribers came from Twitter. You know. And see, I, I just, I can't share that same information. I no. use it to pretty much post about the videos I come up with. And when yeah. I do get personal, yeah, I get more likes and I get more retweets mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But yeah. I think I got into Twitter 
at least with my newest account, a little late. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to build an audience when you're not posting 20, well, I'd say once a day. Yeah, that's the thing, though, because Twitter expects you to post five to ten times a day to keep people interested in watching. And if you don't post that, they're just going to unfollow. So it, it, right. Twitter alone is like almost just, well, it's not as if we're running a, ch- a ch- YouTube channel, but it's, it's definitely like up there as like a hard tool to use sometimes. I mean, did you ever do that thing that I did my very, very first on YouTube, and I don't do it now at all because I think it's a terrible way to do it. But when I first on YouTube, I would write, I had no subs, so I had to get subs from somewhere. So I'd go on Twitter, I would follow a load of people. And then when they followed back, because most people follow back, I would have an, an automatic message go out to them saying, hi, thanks for the follow, check out my YouTube channel, and leave a sub if you enjoy it. And that's where my subs <laughs> came from. Oh my god, that's that's genius, Sue. I mean, uh, a lot, a I lot haven't of people done that, that, but I'm going to start. <laughs> no, I'm well, just kidding. I, but it's, <laughs> but you can't do that now anyway because they deleted all of the automatic message bot things off oh, Twitter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cause, because people realized that's what we were doing. <laughs> I, think, I think I did it until I got to about maybe 50 to 100 subs. And I was like, you're getting the subs, but I still wasn't getting views. Because they were clicking the channel, oh, yeah, I'll give them a sub, why not? And then they weren't watching any videos. But so it's subs, the same, it's know. the same follow for follow. It's just dead subscribers. They're not yeah, doing exactly. anything to help your channel. It might look good on paper, but in reality, your analytics are looking poor behind exactly. the scenes. So you know, it, it wasn't yeah. about having a thousand subs if you're only getting ten views a video. You know, yeah, pretty much. It, so that's why, if anyone actually wants to do that, I really recommend it don't because it'll just really waste your time. <laughs> like honestly, we, like, we've started a new uprise. These people yeah. are like, I don't need an Autobot. I'll just do it manually. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. And you'll get subs, but it's more than likely your analytics are going to suffer for us. Well, and if yeah. you don't care about analytics, then go right ahead. We ain't yeah, stopping you. Yeah, go right ahead. You know. do, do it. You know. Be a rebel. <laughs> you know. Um, I think I want my last, very last thing. And oh, what I'm going to say, I, you actually covered this pretty well in the video you last posted. But for people watching us who haven't seen that video is... What are the future plans and projects of your channel? Oh, nice. Yeah, I did just cover this. Uh, if you want, you can go to my channel and watch that. But let's do a little bit of a rundown right here, right now. I mean, I'm yeah. okay with doing that. All right, future plans for inexperienced studios. Like I said, life has kind of thrown a lot at me. Life has thrown a lot at all of us right now, especially right now. It's getting a little crazy again. But uh, for me, I just got engaged, so I have a little bit less time. And uh, that's all right with me. I mean... I'm not really struggling on YouTube because I don't really make anything with YouTube yet. It's yeah. kind of just a fun hobby, but where we're going is we're still going to continue the 20 minutes and then we fight series. You will get at least one of those a month, probably at the start of each month. Yeah. Um, we have a little bit of a mystery series uh, in the works right now, and it's actually not pertaining to video games. It's actually going to be some IRL content behind the scenes, but I'm going to be quiet before I give too much of that away. <laughs> Uh, because that's going to come out a little bit sooner. Sorry, Zoo, you're not getting any inside when, scoops when, from here. I mean, I'm going to get some sort of scoop. When you say sooner, do you mean this month, next month, next year? Probably the start of next year. Start of next year. Okay, just so we know to keep an eye out, that's all. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what that click was. Did that come through? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and last but not least, the Outcast SMP. We got a wonderful SMP set up, and we're all set for Season 2. That's going to start in December, and you're going to see a lot of footage from the Outcast SMP from me. I already got a storyline picked out. I got something that I want to do. So, uh, all right, well, yeah. I've got, get, I've got some source scoops. So, in your Outcast SMP, just give us like a taster. What if, of what you're planning? Just a little taster. Just a nibble. For season two? Yeah. <laughs> just, um, you know, just, 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 just a taster. So my character is currently going through something. Mm-hmm. Is that inside here? Yes. Is that that? I think so. Oh, okay. Hang on just a second. Okay. 
Hey, okay, it is okay. about that time where we need to wrap up the podcasts. Uh, so I live in an apartment complex, and somebody decided to pull the fire alarm. I know oh. I was right in the middle of giving you a scoop, so maybe you can throw something on at the end of the podcast, but we need to actually evacuate our building. Oh, I'm not lying. This is not a <laughs> drill. I know this is fun, and this is kind of exciting. My heart's racing a little bit. But yeah, I'm actually going to go, and I will give you the scoop a little bit later. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate. It. I'm, I'm not going to keep you because I know <laughs> I I don't want you to burn to death. So yeah, uh, we're going to uh, find out what this is. So yeah. uh, but thank you so much for being on. Thank you for being my first guest, and I really appreciate it. Sounds good, bud. I'll be back before you know it. Do. Dude-